This is Twit. Um, so there's a thing that I that I've been playing with for eh, twenty almost. 25 years called photogrammetry and photogrammetry is really the process of taking a bunch of photos and turning them into a 3d model and this i gotta tell you over the last two decades has gotten to be from just downright painful to downright fun and i think it's worth folks just giving it a shot um because it's uh, it's something you can do with your phone uh well your phone and your mac you can't really do i mean you can do a little bit of on your phone but you need a Mac to have the most fun. So um, it's called PhotoScan. And um, and so PhotoScan is a, um, it's a piece of software. And you don't want to get sca- scared of it. It'll look kind of technical and have all this stuff. But literally, you can take uh, this app, go out and find a statue or find a building or something like that. Just take your iPhone out and just shoot a whole bunch of photos of it. Now, I, you know, we can talk about how to take those photos and everything else. And actually, it's something that we're going to start doing uh, in the pixel core, uh, membership again, that we're doing, that we're launching, uh, sometime soon is tomorrow. I didn't quite finish one of the pages. So, um, but, uh, but the, um, but one of the things that you want to do is go out and take a bunch of, from all the different, all the different sides of as, as high as you can, as low as you can. I mean, a great thing to test is like a fire hydrant. Cause it's kind of the, the right thing to just kind of play with. Anyway, take all those photos. You just drag them in. Just drag them in and say, hey, go find a bunch of points. Go go figure out where all these uh, these cameras were. So it finds a whole bunch of points. And then you say, yeah, why don't you build a what we call a dense point cloud? And boom, it does that. And you say, hey, why don't we turn that into into some uh, some geometry? Turn that into you know polygons and it'll do that for you. And there's really not there's not a lot to do other than find the drop down to do that. And you'll end up with this little model. And it's it's uh and it's amazing how much data is in that little model. And I gotta tell you. It was it was not always this easy. <laughs> so and then you can you know, um, you know, it, 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 it there I have I have lost many nights and fingers and blood and everything else <laughs> trying to get models that look like this out of out of photographs. And so well, like, what we're seeing right here is not you know what you're seeing on the thing is, is not stuff that has been someone painstakingly modeled. They just took a bunch of photos and they said, go make me a model. And so, um, so I think that it's, you know, it's, it's just something fun and it, it's a great little pastime of mine. I, I walk around all the time and I go, I wonder what that would look like if I did a photo scan with it. And so I take picture, a bunch of pictures with my iPhone or my, um, uh, you know, so, and I, um, and I throw them together. I have a DxO that shoots high, slightly higher resolution. So that works well. If you've got a really high resolution camera, it goes, it's slower um, and it does take a while. Like if you put, if you, just in case you're wondering, if you take 180 photos and you throw it in there of, of an object, it will take, uh, you know, a couple hours for it to get all the stuff done. Um, but it's something you can do in the background. You just kind of throw it in, let it, let your computer work on it all night, and uh, you come in and see what, see what it's like. Now, the great thing about it is they, they've got a really good kind of. Um, you know what I would say, cocaine marketing for you. You know, we used to call that uh, cocaine marketing when I was in uh, Sony. You know, you had to get a couple hits mm. before someone would go, willing, be willing to buy uh, a whole album. And so, um, what what you can do is you can download this thing and put it in demo mode, and you can just see what it does. You can take a bunch of photos. You see it. You can't save it, but you can see it. You can see what you can see how effective it was, and and what it does, and everything else. And that's great. Um, do that for a little while. Um, don't, don't ask for the demo code immediately. Just, just, just play with it in demo mode. Then you can go there and you can say, Hey, give me the demo demo code and they'll give you a 30 day pass. And now you can actually save models. And if you have something like cinema 4d or some other or Maya or something else, uh, you can actually throw those in there. Um, then when you're done, you know, when that gets, if you decided that you're actually producing something and you think you could actually turn this into a business, you can get kind of their base version. And that base version is about 350 bucks or something like that. And then, um, and then if you get really serious and you decide, I really want to be able to model from spheres, like I want to, I want to use my theta or something bigger to, mo- to create 3d models, or I want to be able to take a, um, you know, build a geodetic network, you know, from a drone, you know, those kinds of pro things, then you start spending $3,500 on it. And, and, but you're turning it, you've turned it into a business. And so you don't have to do any of that, uh, first. And, and it's, it's just, everybody listening should just, if you got a Mac and you got a phone, go download this thing. It's just fun. It's just like magic. Like you took a bunch of photos and now you have a 3d model, you know? And, um, Anyway, it's it's uh, there's a lot of good business reasons to, to know how to use it, uh, but but it's it it is fun enough to do that it's just worth um, doodling with, um, uh, and I'm I, I can't wait to see if Andy decides to doodle with it because Andy I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Um, so anyway, yeah. I'm looking for I'm, I'm expecting 3D squirrels. That's kind of you know, <laughs> no. So anyway. I've, 
I, I've been I've I've been looking at all kinds of apps like this that I will add yours to the list with great interest uh, because I do want to. I've been planning an art heist uh, for several <laughs> years. Yeah, there's there a, there's there's a piece of sculpture that you might have heard me talk about once or twice that was once the most famous piece of sculpture in the world in 1893. Uh, and I've been trying to figure out way, and there, there are exam, there are copies of it in lots of museums around, around the world. And I keep uh, with photogrammetry and other things. There must be a way that, with a phone or by getting access to a museum that will let me ha basically have full access to it in a back room somewhere, there must be a way that I can do photogrammetry, create a good 3D model that I will almost certainly have to fix up a little bit on the computer, but then make a 3D print. So instead of ha instead of buying uh, a reproduction of this made 100 years ago that would cost me $15,000 at auction, I can simply 3D print <laughs> my own version of it. and But it would give me great satisfaction to just go into the Metropolitan Museum of Art without any authority, without any permission, without breaking any rules, and, ass and essentially steal a piece of art <laughs> simply by spending 10 minutes taking the right pictures around it. So I'm really interested in this. Well, the crazy thing is, is that with with not very much correction, you, you can make your model airtight. You know, so a lot of times you get all this stuff working and you can and once it's airtight, you can print it. Right. And and so um, so that's the you know, um, as soon as you can get rid of all the holes and, and there's all kinds of little filters that will go in and find the holes and, and fill them in and, and so on and so forth. And so you really can, you know, go shoot something and then build you know, build a 3D model of it or print it, you know, and, and it can be done over a weekend. Like you could shoot something on Saturday morning yeah. and have a model by the time you get up on Monday, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a brave new world. Anyway, it's, it's, it's I, really, I, really fun. It's worth playing with. I, I did it with the Lincoln Memorial, uh, several years ago. Uh, it was like a three foot original bronze reproduction, but it was perfectly set up in the museum where it was about at eye level. Right. And with like yeah. eight feet of nothing around it, so I could really take comprehensive pictures up, down, all around. And also the Lincoln Memorial, it's not like someone putting their hand above their head. So there's like a hole here and someone's wearing right. headphones. So there's all this little detail there. Uh, and I wasn't even trying very hard but when I got it home, threw it on the 3D printer. And my God, I've I've got the Lincoln Memorial now <laughs> after only right. four hours of waiting. And yeah, that, well, and, that really that really does blow your mind that you can come home from uh, from a museum or not even like doing photogrammetry. The Smithsonian they're trying to they're making 3D models of so much of their sculpture yeah. and so many of their artifacts. Then you can simply download this thing and print out your own copy of it. So imagine again an art heist where it's like that 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 bust would make such a statement in my foyer, and then instead of simply like Andy. putting. Instead of, instead of sticking in your laptop bag and perhaps going to jail for a long time, you simply <laughs> download a file or collect data and then spend a long time having to restart your 3D prints because you're not very good at making 3D prints. Well, and the other thing is, is that you start shooting this stuff and, and there's, there's companies called Shapeways that will print, you yeah. know, will print this stuff out of metal. You know, like, like not like not like a little printer. And so when you started thinking about it, if you want to have, you know, the Lincoln Memorial hanging on a little bracelet, you could do that, too. Yep. You know, like you just upload a upload, a, you know, you build your little model and you upload it and and uh, you say, I want to make this out of, you know, metal. I can't, I'm always like every time I see their stuff, I'm like, no, like exactly. Both the uh, Jay Leno's Garage and Tested.com, their YouTube channels, they have really great stuff where they, they will show you they will model or something either just uh, from, from scratch in 3D or they'll use uh, photogrammetry to capture something. Do a 3D print of it, and then like with Jay Leno's Garage, they've got like they've got like a engine block from a 1903 whatever that's cracked and useless, but they managed to make it out of plastic. They've bolted it onto the rest of the engine, make sure it fits. And then they simply send this to a foundry that can make a traditional mold out of it and then pour actual steel into 